Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another video. I am Victoria from Victoria Moon Tarot and I've come back with you for another tarot reading today. Today's tarot reading is going to be in called A Message For You. Okay, so whenever you click on this reading or find it or click on it or refer back to it, this would be the message that you needed to hear because you found this video today. Okay, as always, we do the three, if anyone else has been looking at my, watching my other videos, you'll see that I do three pile, pick a card reading. Uh, it'll be deck one, deck two, deck three, okay? I've already shuffled and cut the cards. I also, I'd just like to say before I start, there was an earth tremor in the UK uh, early this morning. So this is why I'm attempting a reading today, because usually you find when the, the plates shift, something in the energy changes from where you are okay so I thought I'm going to do a reading today see how accurate it is see how we get on see if, if any of this really resonates with you and this is why I just set up my camera and everything today so um, as always um, please could you click the subscribe and like button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos I will be uploading more videos as we go along on my channel and let's start so i'd like you to just relax wherever you are as much as you can clear your mind and try and focus on either deck one deck two or deck three okay so i'll give you a few minutes to do that now okay for those of you who've chosen deck one this is the reading I have for you. If I just move, just move these a little bit out of the way. Like one, two. We haven't read those yet. Okay. So this is the message for you, for those who've chosen deck one. Okay. Have a look what we've got. We've got the seven of wands. Two of cups. The five of swords. And the King of Wands. You see that there? It's very clear. Okay, let's have a look. <clears throat> okay. I see with this Seven of Wands energy here, there's a big happiness that's about to happen in your life or it's going on at the minute. Okay, with this Two of Cups here, this focuses on either an engagement or a marriage. Okay, so you see the two, it's forcing two people together. So with this, there's big happiness and I just, there's some kind of engagement, marriage, something to do with that kind of thing. It might not be you, it might be that you're going to a wedding of some kind or engagement, but it does symbolise that. <clears throat> okay, but it's saying you've got to be yourself. Um, they might or may be a little bit of a demanding situation going on right now as well. Saying to go forward, just be yourself. Okay, this is this two of cups here. <clears throat> Sorry, this two of cups here. This is definitely some two people that have drawn together. Okay, two forces that have drawn together. You can't break it. But this is also a marriage card or engagement card. It could be the meeting of two people, two groups, or just two things that are coming together. It's definitely a union of some kind. And with the ones here, there's big happiness. So, um, but the two together, it's really strong. Believe in yourself to go forward. Okay, so we've got this five of swords here. So, <clears throat> while this is really good. It's, this is a marriage union card. You've got this gam five of swords here. <clears throat> okay. This is a little bit of a disappointment. So either there is a small disappointment that's on its way or you've had a disappointment of some kind. Okay. This is a little bit, it's a bit, a few challenges, possibly even a disruption, a bit of stress or a conflict of some kind with this five of swords. And we've got the King of Wands energy here. And this is, this is red hot passion, basically. But 
it's telling you also to rely on yourself because with the king of wands he can't be wholly relied on okay so he's like one-sided so you need to do your own thing as well if that resonates with you so it's telling you it's all fantastic there is definitely an engagement or marriage a union of some kind it might not be you it might be you attending a union of some kind but there's some kind of celebration here okay i think with the red hot passion it is but it's telling you to be yourself okay there's red hot passion here there's a union of some kind if you put these two together you see but it's actually telling you but that i suspect that in between all of this there was a a some stress involved possibly quite a bit of disruption or some kind of challenge or a little bit of a change definitely confusion definitely there was some kind of confusion okay this red hot passion in both of these cards here both cards are telling you to be yourself so the king of wands is sort of a one-sided card which means there's passion there's there's <clears throat> sorry my throat went down there's passion but you can't really 100% rely on it so my throat's gone awfully dry so sorry you can't 100% rely on the king of wands basically so you need to do your own thing as well okay so very um it's a happiness spread because you've got this celebration coming up here okay in review here and this is an engagement or a marriage there's two people involved definitely it's a union and it's a good union because it says happiness and then you've got this five of swords where there was challenges and conflict and disruption possibly even a delay of some kind definitely stress but I, it was, it's right in the middle. So if you're true to yourself and you've got the two cards saying, you know, believe in yourself. While this is a happiness card, it's also sort of, you can't wholly rely on the King of Wands. It's red hot passion. Okay. But it's telling you just rely on your own thing as well. Do your own thing. You half rely on the other person or the other situation. You must carry on with your own thing. Okay, so we've got, that's the reading for, that's deck one, okay? So just put over here. So what I want to do today is, this is my month. So it was very popular last time. So there's months of the year here, okay, including January. I know there's only half left, but I've included January because you never know, it might be sooner than you think. So there's 12 months of the year in there. And this is my gold cup, my lovely gold cup. And I'm going to shake it, okay? And I've rewritten them and I've folded them over so I don't know where they are. So I just toss these around. So for deck one, I'm going to pick out a significant month of the year. Whether this is the month of this marriage or whether this is significant for you. Either you're having a baby that month or there's a party that month or someone's birthday or a holiday. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. It's quite interesting. Okay, I picked the top one out there. Okay, July. Okay, whatever is significant for you will be happening in July. So I don't know if that resonates. Can you see that? Sorry, it's just going in and out. Camera's going in and out. So whichever, for deck one, significant month of the year this year will be July. Okay. So that's what I have for you, for people who've chosen deck one. So as I say... If that resonates with you, that's fine. If it's not, I have other readings or you could wait a couple of days and come back and maybe try again to see if, you know, maybe pick deck two, deck three. It's up to you. I'll leave it to you. So that's the reading I have for you today for deck one. And for those of you who've chosen deck two, let's have a look what we've got here. So for the, those of you who've chosen deck two, this is a message from Tarot and Spirit for you today. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Cups. Can you see that? I'll try and put that there. And then we've got the Four of Cups. Interesting. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Very interesting. Okay. And then we've got the Judgment card. Straight away, I know what this is. <laughs> Don't have to do it. Okay. 
with all these cups here, this is a highly charged emotional, highly high emotions. Your emotions are on high right now. Okay. And we've got the judgment card here. Okay. So there's some kind of truth that was told or you found out something. And um, yeah, I suspect there was a situation or it is a situation going on with you. Okay. So, but this is sort of a judgment here. It's a sort of clarity. It's also a settling of a disagreement, which means I think that you've had some kind of disagreement with someone. This is what all of these are all pointing to the same thing. It's highly emotional. You're in a highly emotional state right now. Okay. But the, out of this disagreement, it will settle down because it's already happened. Okay. This disagreement I think is past or is going on. So if it's a past disagreement, you're talking about letting the time settle. That you need that little bit of extra time to let what has happened settle before you go back in, possibly, to sort of forgive this person entirely. You've forgiven them, but not entirely. So you're still holding on to that little bit of a, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. But you will, because it's it's it makes sense, basically. Okay. There was definitely uh, a peace. There's a peace coming over you. And it won't be long. You're already slightly at peace as it is because things have stopped and have started to get sorted out. But it does also, with this judgment card, indicate a promotion at a job. And I can see it here because you've got the judgment is, is high, so it's a promotion. And you've got your money, possibly a promotion with more money involved. And then you've got your four of cups, which is um, <laughs> you want to break up your routine basically you're after a little bit of excitement you got it right smack there see so you've had this disagreement there's a job promotion here with more money i see and also you're trying to get you just want to get dressed up and you want to feel nice and you want to go out you need that little bit of excitement before you the peace and quiet regains with your nine here you're almost at the end of this disagreement and you're ready to forgive there's definitely peace peace coming because the eight here is the peace card, okay? You definitely had a lot of clarity. Perhaps you've learned a few things maybe you didn't know about and were a bit shocked. Um, the disagreement is settling down for you. You need a bit of fun, basically. You need to go out there a little bit and have a little bit of fun because it, you don't want to be stuck and bored because that will mean that you, a lot of, you know, this high emotional chart, high charged energy that's going on around you at the minute means that you just need some peace so forget about what's going on just for a little while and just go and enjoy yourself because it will sort everything will sort itself out okay but i do see a com there was a conflict or it's still going it will sort itself out or there was recently a conflict that's possibly just finished okay there is a job or a promotion, a new job or a new or a promotion on the cards for someone, either you or someone around you. OK. It also means that, it, you know, this conflict you had with this person, it, it, it will be sorted. It's peace and you both make progress, which means that you'll go on to have quite good relationships. You don't have to be in conflict anymore. It's quite straightforward. This deck number two is quite straightforward. The minute I dealt it, I knew what happened for you. For those of you who, of course, if this doesn't resonate with you and it's there was no conflict, you're thinking, you know, this didn't happen to me. Maybe this reason that is not for you today and to refer back to it. No, wait a few days, refer back to it, pick another one of the decks or go to another one of my uh, videos where I've got different videos and we'll be uploading more. So keep an eye out for that. So what I'd like to do even with this is because I I'm going to do my um, significant month. So after what during each deck I'm doing each month of the year is in my golden cup. OK, I've written them down in pink and I folded them and I'm moving them around. OK, so even you get a significant month. So for those of you who picked deck number two, just give them a good shuffle. Don't know. So keep this in your mind. Keep it as a guide. 
I don't know which significant month or what's going to happen in this month for you, but it'll be a significant one for people that chose deck number two. There you go. Pick that one. Let's have a look again. Let's open it in front of you. August. Okay. So the significant month for you is August. That's this year. Okay. Or whichever August. I think this year, this August is what I heard this year, but it could be whenever you refer back to this video. For some reason, I heard this August. That's why I said this year <laughs> without thinking. Okay, so something is happening significantly for you in August. I don't know what. Don't worry too much about this situation because it's passing or it's past or recently passed. You need to go out there and have some fun. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Forget about the shopping, the gardening, the children, you know, the house, the work. Just go out there and have some fun because... Also, it signifies a promotion, either a new job that's better or a promotion of some kind of work with more money. That's coming for someone, for you or someone around you. And it will, if it's for someone around you, it's going to be for the benefit of you and your interests, obviously, because it wouldn't come out because you picked the card. Okay, so that's the reading for those of you who've chosen deck number two today. Okay, and I'm back with those of you who picked deck number three. So let's see what we've got for you today. So we've got the lovers. Okay. Put that there. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see it. I'm trying to make it straight. And then we've got the Two of Wands. Okay. And then we have this Nine of Swords here. Right, straight away I can see when every time the Nine of Swords comes out, I think someone's had a row. I mean, look at the card in itself. It's just utter confusion and sharp words and uh, words that hurt and stuff like that. Okay, so this Nine of Cards is a row. Of course, with the lovers here, it could be that you had a row with the other half and sharp words was thrown or... With this queen here, this this is probably you. You seem to be fighting off. <sighs> yeah, I see you. I can see just fighting off. So I don't know what's go, going on with you at the minute, 100% yet. I can just see you fighting your way through. Okay, that's what the Queen of Wands does. Now, do you want to be fighting your way through? I don't know. Okay, with the Two of Wands here... Okay, this is the, the third area of your life. It came before the row. This is actually quite a positive card. This symbolizes two people again. And wands is quite a creative, creative instinct in you. Okay, so whoever threw the sharp words are you meant to hurt you. The words were thrown for a reason. They wanted to inflict pain, basically. Uh, upset you. So the words are thrown to upset you definitely harsh words that you had um saying do you want this you know you've got your harmony and your lovers here so this is you know you'd think that the lovers would be upside down with this reading so this is why i'm a little bit trying to work it out here you're the battling through you can see you know with the, the sword in your hand and ch 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 i can just see you fighting your way do you want to fight this is what it's saying do you really is, is it worth the fight Okay, you're fighting people that with these two cards here. I, I don't know. Are you fighting for a relationship that you think maybe you're not sure about? But because this card is the right way up, you know, if you are in a relationship you want to fight for, then that's up to you and go and fight for it. But why are you battling? You're battling and harsh words are thrown. Now, I don't know if the harsh words are thrown from your other half or whether someone interfered and threw the harsh words and it sort of woke you up. But you seem to be battling. Battling through. Pushing, you know, fighting people who are in your way, basically. Do you, is the fight worth it? You need to ask yourself that. If the fight is worth it, then you go and fight. But if you don't think it is worth it, the love is the right way up, which is what I'm sensing, is don't worry, there's someone else, basically. <laughs> If this one doesn't work, there'll be another one. So there's two of wands here saying that there is 
you know, a challenge in your life. So a change and a challenge in your life. So um, this is positive. So it, came, it went past the lovers. So definitely harsh words have been said, but you seem to be fighting through. You're fighting for possibly, I think, a relationship. But you're thinking, what am I doing? What on earth am I doing? Because you, you're battling people. Now, I don't know whether you're battling your other half. I don't think so. I think you're battling other people for a relationship that maybe you're not 100% sure about. Or if you're sure about it and you want to stay with it and you want to try, then you seem to be fighting people out of the way. Okay. So those harsh words of that whatever person has told you were meant to inflict pain to upset you. They wanted to make you cry, basically. They wanted to upset you. Sounds terrible in a reading, but it, it, it every time the Nine of Swords is drawn out, I dread it. And I saw it and I thought, oh no, they meant to inflict pain to wound you. Which is not very nice, is it? So I'm sorry if you, <laughs> but if I've got it right, then there is hope, you see, because you've got the lovers here. And I think this is a relationship situation. Either someone interfered or you've had harsh words with the other half. You seem to be battling. There's a battle going on, but it shouldn't be a battle. You know, it shouldn't be that hard. Yes, relationships can be difficult and you do have to work at them or they don't work, pure and simple, you know. And you have to be on the same page, but this is you here. You know, you're after some peace and quiet and positivity and you, as a um, peaceful mind, but you seem to be fighting. You're in some kind of conflict, fighting people away, fighting people off is what I can hear. You know, but there is hope. If you want to stay in the relationship, you can sort it because if the, if it wasn't going to be sorted, the lovers would have been that way around. Okay, but they came out the right way around. It definitely would have been the other way around. So possibly either if the fight is worth it for this particular situation. And the lovers might not always symbolise a, a romantic partnership. It could even be a, a close friendship when the lovers come out. So if it doesn't resonate that it's a romantic partner, it could be a very, very close friendship. You know, that person, as harsh words were thrown at you to hurt you. If you are, why are you battling? If you want to battle to save the relationship, it can be saved. All you need is peace, okay? But I can see a battle you sort of fighting things off. You will fight. You will fight for what you want. Definitely. And if you want to do that, good luck. And that's entirely up to you. As I always say, tarot is a guide. And that's going on with you right now. Okay. I wonder if I could pick another card out to see a little bit. It needs a little bit more clarity. I feel like this is not enough clarity for me. Let's see. Just one more. I don't always do this, but when it's not entirely clear, I like to have an out, you know, a situation, an outcome, and it wasn't entirely, the outcome is not entirely sure. It is that you will be happy again in a new relationship, definitely. It wouldn't have come out. So I'll just pick another card, I think. That one, there we go. It's told me, hasn't it? Didn't even, I didn't do that. Oh yeah, the Queen of Swords. There you go. You have to be strong. You have to be strong. And you've got your two battling women here, okay? You have to be strong, stronger than you are. This is a very wise woman. I'm, I'm seeing that there's um, two females here involved. So I think this is a, could be a, a, a jealousy, a little bit of jealousy going on, or two, friend, two friends. So it's either a relationship where harsh words were thrown or a very close friendship where harsh words were thrown. So one to the other and you were meant to inflict. If you said the harsh words, you meant it, you know, you meant to inflict some pain. Or if they've said it, you know, back, then they were meant, those words were meant for you to hear, unfortunately. But it's telling you, you must be stronger than you are to battle through and then make up your mind what you want to do. Either way, it'll be the right decision. If you want to carry on with this friendship or relationship, then you still have to battle your way through. If you want the, the romantic relationship, you know, you can do it or there's a new one coming. It's up to you. Either way, you need to think about yourself. 
and what's good for you. It's your life. Okay. Whew, it's quite heavy energy. It's heavy energy. Maybe that earthquake did say something that comes this morning. So I'm going to pick the significant month out of my gold cup for you. For those of you who chose deck number three. Let's see if something resonates. And again, if this, this reading didn't resonate with you, I've got other videos it might resonate with. March. Okay, you see that? So the significant month for you is March. So either something is happening in March already or something's going to happen in March. I don't know what it is yet. You might. You might know exactly what it is. But March is a significant month for you. Okay, so that's a reading for people who chose deck number three. I hope you enjoyed it. As I say, let tarot guide you. You need to make your own decisions in life. As I say, with all my readings, you know, you can listen to me, let it resonate with you. If it didn't resonate with you today, then come back. I will have new readings going on or choose another one of my videos for your answers to your questions let it guide you ultimately you need to make your own decision because you are your own person okay take care of yourselves and i'll see you soon okay bye bye